everyone. My name is Allison Key, and I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in ecology at UC Davis. So a bit about me is that I grew up in Pennsylvania and I attended UC Berkeley uh, for undergrad where I studied statistics and forestry. And today I'll be sharing with you the second chapter of my dissertation, which is called Habitat Conversion to Agriculture Reduces Avian Reproductive Behavior in Northwest Costa Rica. Land use change is the largest driver of biodiversity loss worldwide. So this is a map of the amount of species lost due to land use change. And a lot of those species are concentrated in tropical regions. Most studies on land use change focus on species presence or absence. So whether a species is present in habitat or, or not. Um, however, these studies don't account for how species are actually using the habitats they're in. For example, if a species is present in a habitat, is it using that habitat to forage or reproduce, or is it simply just passing through? And that leads to my first question, which is how do birds behave differently between habitat types? And secondly, are these birds changes in, in occurrence related to changes in behavior? Or in other words, if a species has more individuals present in one habitat, does it mean that those individuals are able to use that habitat more effectively? So to answer these questions, we conducted bird surveys in Northwest Costa Rica in three types of habitats, agriculture, protected forests, and privately owned forests. And we focused on three types of behaviors, foraging, reproductive, and passive. And our first result is that birds were more likely to perform reproductive behaviors in forests versus agriculture and in protected forests versus private forest on average. And our second result is that the birds changes in occurrence were not entirely consistent with their changes in behavior. So this is a plot where every point represents a species and the points labeled in orange represent those species with an inconsistent response, which means that they were more likely to perform reproductive behaviors in forest, but there were not more individuals of them in the forest. So in conclusion, Costa Rican birds were more likely to perform reproductive behaviors in forest and especially in the protected forest. Analyzing behavior can provide information on the importance of habitat types that contradicts what's expected from abundance analyses, such as for those inconsistent species where we wouldn't expect them to reproduce more in forest, but it seems like they are. Therefore, we recommend scientists to incorporate behavioral observations into analyses whenever possible. So with that, I'd like to thank the ARCS Foundation for your support. Um, I really wouldn't have been able to make as much progress as I did this year without it, so thank you.